Let's get one definition straight. Throughout the course, and especially in this section, you'll hear the term asynchronous come up again and again. What does asynchronous mean? In programming, asynchronous is often described as the opposite of synchronous, where synchronous means code that runs line by line in sequence. So asynchronous code is code that doesn't necessarily run line by line. Let's put aside programming for a second and look at an example. Say we have a list of things that we want to do, some goals that we want to achieve on our way to being the best developer we can be. Maybe we want to start by learning HTML, and our plan is to then learn JavaScript and move on to Node, eventually getting hired at our dream job. If we're doing things synchronously, what we'll do is we'll learn HTML as best as we can, and only after learning everything we think we can possibly learn and ticking that box off, do we start learning JavaScript. And when we think we've become the best possible JavaScript developer we could possibly become, we check that off and move on to Node and so on until we achieve that goal of getting hired. This is a synchronous way of completing our tasks. We go through our goals one by one and only move on to the next goal when we're completely done with the previous one. In contrast to this, with the asynchronous approach, we could learn HTML really, really well, as best as we can, and then we start learning JavaScript. At some point, we decide we're comfortable enough with JavaScript as a language and move on to Node. But then, along the way, we work really, really hard, have some job interviews, and hey, we get that job that we've always been dreaming about but we're still learning JavaScript and getting better. And we're still learning Node. These are skills that we constantly improve even after we've gotten hired. I know I'm still learning even after working with Node for years and years. In real life, we tend to achieve our goals asynchronously. We're getting better at Node but while we're doing that, we're also getting better at JavaScript. Well, code works in the same way. For most tasks in our programs, it's possible for our computers, our machines, to work on multiple tasks at the same time. When one piece of code is still executing, but your program is already moving on to the next piece of code, that's asynchronous code. Oftentimes, in your programs, there will be some asynchronous functions. These asynchronous functions run in the background while your JavaScript has already moved on to the next line of code. This can be super useful because, for example, if your program is a web browser, and it needs to spend some time loading a page, maybe my search results, to find out more about the Pacific Ocean. We want the browser to do that in the background, don't we? We want our browser to still be able to handle our button clicks and to let us load other web pages, even if something is loading in the background. Maybe I'm searching for images of mountains. Asynchronous programming is what allows us to do all this, handling many things side by side. And that's something that Node.js is really good at. 
We'll keep learning in the next video. I'll see you soon.